Now we're going to take a look at setting up a Microsoft Power Automate flow button. This will be a button that will trigger a flow that you've created from the SharePoint interface. First of all, take a look at the different theme options, which give you some ideas on how you can make your button look. And then once you have the button looking how you want, the next thing you should do is get the ID of your flow. Go to Power Automate, and in the main screen for your flow, if you look at the URL, you'll find that unique identifier in the URL. You can copy and paste from there. So I just copy and then paste that in the flow ID. That is required. And then once that's set, I'm ready to copy my code to SharePoint. In SharePoint, I just need a simple text column as a placeholder. You can create a text field or a calculated field column that's empty. You can call the column whatever you want. I go to column settings, format this column, advanced mode, Replace the code with the code that you're pasting from the tool. There's my button. Of course, you should choose a meaningful name for that. Uh, in this case, I'm updating to in progress. So let me make that adjustment. I'll go ahead and put, instead of run my flow, set in progress. Now I've got something a little bit more meaningful. I'll go back and replace that. Now let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to click the button. That opens the flow side panel. You'll see the name of your flow. It will recognize that and you can just click run flow. You'll get a progress update card that will show in the upper right and that will update the whatever kind of flow you have. In this case, it's a status update. And that's all there is to it.